Hello everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another update video. Today is the official release of part one of Update Aquatic for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So Xbox One, Windows 10, mobile, anywhere that you got Bedrock Edition, you will be getting the first half of Update Aquatic. So there is a ton of features in this update and we're going to be checking them out all in detail in this video. So stick around for that. And uh, as you can see, there's a couple screenshots, there's dolphins, there's blue ice, there's shipwrecks, icebergs, uh, thousands of new fish, way too many fish. There's new ocean biomes, underwater ravines and caves, and shipwrecks, treasure chests, tridents, new buttons and trapdoors and pressure plates, and new blocks and achievements. There is a lot of new of everything basically <laughs> uh, the only things that are really missing from this first half are the drowns the uh, the turtles and a few other things as well but like the major staple features are here in this update so I find it kind of strange that they're releasing update aquatic for bedrock edition in two parts um, everything else Java edition and also uh, Minecraft console edition is getting update aquatic in one big go and then I'm sure there'll be some bug fixes after that but mostly it's just in one big go bedrock edition also has betas so I'm not entirely sure why they're doing this but I guess it doesn't really matter we're getting new features and we're getting them very quickly as well so whatever <laughs> doesn't really matter as long as everything comes out at about at about the same time it'll be all good and as long as it's all actually functional and not game breaking it'll be just fine anyway if you guys do enjoy uh, update videos and want to see more of them make sure to leave a like on the video maybe also consider subscribing to the channel so you guys see the next update video and with that stuff all out of the way let's get into checking out these new awesome features in game so there is a lot of new features in this update Bear with me because this might actually be a longer video than anticipated, but uh, basically the overall idea is that everything water is getting overdone. So there's a new water textures, there's new ocean biomes, there's new water mechanics and behaviors, there's new water mobs, fish, dolphins, turtles, and uh, drowns will be coming soon. There's also new blocks and items. There's literally so many different things. It's going to take us a hot minute just to cover what we got going on here. So... Uh, the first thing that we should probably cover is the new water look so when you're swimming underwater and by the way you can now swim just go into uh, third person or whatever you like and then just try and run and you can actually swim underwater so that is super nice super just like uh, it's very peaceful it's very very peaceful so after that there is new water uh, graphics so as you can see you can actually see pretty far underwater now without any form of uh, night vision or aqua affinity or anything like that you can see for a pretty far distance and maybe that'll even change once I turn on my render distance right now it should be eh, it's, it's at 80 chunk never mind I guess this is about as far as you're gonna get <laughs> now there is also ocean biomes so there are nine different ocean biomes but on Bedrock Edition, we can't actually see the biomes. There's no F3 screen. There's nothing like that. So you kind of just got to guesstimate. But there is warm, lukewarm, cold, and I believe frozen oceans as well, where you, where you will get the icebergs and also, you know, frozen ice on top. So the way that you can tell kind of what biome you're in is depending on the water color. So right now you can see it's a very light blue. It's very nice. It looks warm and tropical. And this is going to be a warm biome where more tropical fish will spawn, clownfish and stuff like that. Now if you go over here, you'll see that the water gets a little bit darker. It's darker blue. And this is a colder ocean biome where more salmon and things like that would spawn. So kind of a kind of a cool thing. There's really not too much uh, to say about it besides the water graphics will depend on where you are in the uh, ocean. So let's get into talking about all these mobs. We have thousands of new fish and we also have dolphins. Turtles and the new drowned mob have not been added in part one, but they will be coming in part two. So we're gonna cover dolphins first. If you're swimming around underwater, these guys are gonna follow you. They're gonna swim with you and it's just gonna be awesome. And supposedly these guys make you swim faster as well, which kind of looks like it's taking effect. It's really hard to tell because they're not really following me very well but <laughs> they are really nice playful and kind of interesting mobs although they are not too useful so uh, sometimes these guys will jump out of the water as well and there's really not too much to say about them they make some nice squeaking squealing kind of sounds and they also will drop themselves a raw fish for you just a plain old raw fish they also give you a little bit of experience and yes I killed a dolphin deal with it it's for science <laughs> so 
Uh, after the the dolphins over there, there's also all these fish. You've seen them swimming around. There's a lot of life in these oceans now. We have the salmon right here, these big red ones. We have just the normal cod, and these are the little brown ones. And then we have the tropical fish, which are not around here, but you can just spawn them uh, with this right here. And there are thousands, literally thousands of different types of these tropical fish. I don't know why in the world they added so many of them, but it's kind of ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird as well. Like, it would have been fine if they just added 20, but they decided to add a couple different thousand. <laughs> so, I'm not entirely sure where the puffer fish spawn, but occasionally you'll also see a puffer fish underwater. Now, these guys are really cute and tiny once, you know, once they're just swimming around. But if you get too close to them or if you attack them, they're going to puff up into a giant thing and they'll actually poison you. If you get too close to them and you and they'll actually swim after you as well so as you can see I'm actually poisoned right now so there is poison you get poison for 10 seconds you can actually capture these guys extremely easily so just get yourself a water bucket then you can go click on the guy he will get put into the bucket and then you can actually put down the fish elsewhere in the world so, so you can see it gives us a little bit of a puffer fish <laughs> so you can do this with any of the fish so you can do this with puffer fish uh, tropical fish the cods you can do it with salmon so you can have yourself a perfect aquarium as well all right so enough messing with those poor old fish next up is going to be all the new block types that were added so we have new logs we got new pumpkins new prismarine slabs stairs and all that jazz we also got new wooden buttons and trap doors and we also have a new coral blocks and ferns and things like that were and that were added so a lot of new stuff let's head through all the stuff about one by one so if you just get yourself an axe you can go ahead and right click or or whatever on a log and that will actually give you this stripped log and these things are really nice they're really just soft and you can use these for a lot of different building projects so you can do this with any log type so dark wood birch jungle acacia oak and spruce and they look really interesting they're just nice and kind of kind of cool blocks it's definitely going to be good for building so next up we have the new pumpkins and this is the look of the new pumpkin there is no face on these guys they're not scary they're just like little pumpkin things it's kind of it's kind of just boring <laughs> so this is what will grow from pumpkin plants and this is what will also naturally generate throughout the world so now if you want to go ahead and get yourself a pumpkin with a face on it you're gonna have to go ahead and actually carve it with some shears and that will give you one seed from carving it and all right so now for the big one slabs and stairs were added we have prismarine slabs and stairs we got dark prismarine slabs and stairs and also normal prismarine slabs and stairs it is looking very fine and you just craft these ones the normal way as well so you can just uh, drag these around you get yourself some prismarine brick stairs make yourself some dark oak slabs and then some prismarine if I could pick that up why can't I pick that up what's up with this block I can't okay there we go <laughs> and uh, yeah you can just make yourself some some things these are really really nice blocks super happy that uh, we got these all right so this one is also pretty big we now have new button types and trapdoor types for all the different wood types so that is really really nice like this is an awesome feature the doors were here before but they basically look exactly the same as the doors so how you make these is just the basic way you have to actually use a particular wood type now and you can't mix and match different kinds of planks you have to use all one type of material to make your things so you can get yourself some dark oak uh, trap doors you can also get yourself just some dark oak buttons and these are very nice this is gonna be wonderful absolutely wonderful for detailing all right, so back to the underwater landscape. I have not been able to find myself a coral reef yet, but these things are really cool looking. They spawn with all of these different types of coral in them, these little coral plants, and also these coral fans as well. And as you can see, there is a bunch of different coral types in here. There is the blue coral, which is tube coral. There is brain coral, bubble coral, fire coral, and also horn coral, and then all the corresponding colors for the fans and the little plants as well. So these things are honestly Honestly, pretty interesting I believe you can mine these with a pickaxe or an axe or something like that but they have to be placed in water if you don't place them in water then they're actually going to slowly but surely die off so so in survival mode you can't actually harvest these little plant things uh, they don't pop off whether or not you use shears or just punch them and also you can't break these fans I tried for quite a while and they just do not break so that stuff is definitely a little bit broken 
Now, in addition to the coral, there's also these underwater plants called seagrass, and these things you can plant on literally anything underwater. You can also bone meal these things to be too tall, and you can bone meal the bottom of the ocean to give yourself some more seagrass. And from bone mealing, you can also get these little coral plants, which is pretty interesting. Now, seagrass, not too useful, doesn't have any uses or anything like that. However, kelp, kelp is amazing. You can go ahead and you can just punch this thing, they'll all pop off and flow up to the surface, and kelp has a lot of uses. I forgot to mention it, but you can also bone meal kelp, so you can just plant that down, bone meal, and then you got yourself a giant plant, which is really, really nice for a kelp farm. So with this normal kelp, you can go ahead and put that in a furnace, smelt it down into dried kelp, and then you can turn this into a kelp block. And this can actually be used as fuel, and it's also a building block, of course. So these things kind of look like a Christmas present, which is uh, lovely for uh, Christmas time. <laughs> so this dried kelp can also be eaten. It returns or it restores half a haunch of hunger, which isn't wonderful, but uh, you can eat it pretty quickly. So I guess there's that. There's also now a new source of packed ice in the game in the form of icebergs. These spawn in pretty big icebergs and also in pretty big clusters as well. These will spawn in uh, cold ocean biomes and frozen ocean biomes, but this one just so happened to spawn in and on beach and also in a desert. <laughs> So a little bit of refining needs to be done into the world generation code to prevent this from happening. This is something that they were uh, doing for quite a long time on Java Edition, and it seems like Bedrock just decided to rush it out. So yeah, there's a few problems with that. Um, but along with these icebergs, you can also find blue ice. Now, this stuff is just like packed ice. It doesn't melt. It doesn't do anything like that, and it is super duper slippery. And when I mean super duper slippery, I mean super duper slippery. So we have ourselves a 800 block long, three block wide path of blue ice. And we're going to go ahead and put ourselves a boat on here. And we're just going to kind of push forward on this. Oh, I'm veering to the left. Why am I veering so much to the left? No, it's not supposed to happen this way. <laughs> oh my God, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was 800 blocks. In like five seconds. Oh, that was beautiful. I didn't mean to get all turned around, but hey, you know what? That is perfectly fine. We can do that going the other way as well. And this stuff is definitely very, very powerful and very, very valuable as well. So you can see the landscape just fly by. It takes a hot minute to get up to speed, but once you get up to speed, you just absolutely fly. Like the game doesn't even basically render that fast. So a couple of new underwater structures have been added. Ruins are now all over all over the world, all over the oceans. These things come in a bunch of different shapes and sizes, giant villages, single arcs, all kinds of different things. And once the next part two of Update Aquatic comes out, these will start spawning and generating with drowns inside of them. So there will be a little bit of a fight for you. And there's also very, very, very mediocre loot inside of these, like barely anything worth looting. However, there are treasure maps, which will be worth your time gathering. So I looked around for quite a long time, swam around thousands and thousands of blocks of oceans, and also used slash locate and still could not find a single shipwreck. They are much, much more common on Java Edition. You can find like literally 50 in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so in addition to not finding a shipwreck, I also completely managed to not be able to find the buried treasure that is, you know, supposedly like right here. So uh, either A, I am just terribly bad at these things, which... I'm not because I found a bunch on Java Edition, or B, it's broken, which would not surprise me because this is Bedrock Edition. <laughs> so typically, once you got these treasure maps from your uh, from your ships, then you can go to the X on the map, start digging around, and typically it will be on a shoreline, and you can find yourself some mediocre loot, emeralds, some gold ingots, nothing really too valuable, some TNT or whatnot. All right, so now for possibly the most interesting thing in this update is that you can now build a lot of things underwater. You can put all of these things, signs, trapdoors, slabs, levers, glass panes, iron bars, carpets, chests, brewing stands, beds, end portals, paintings, item frames, enchanters. <laughs> List goes on. You can put all these things underwater and there's no more air bubbles or pockets or anything like that. So that is really interesting, going to be awesome for a lot of different builds underwater, especially like 
just houses like oh my god so this does mean that it's going to be significantly harder to actually get air pockets underwater uh, especially because you literally cannot place down a torch like you cannot place down torches underwater at all like yeah it just doesn't happen <laughs> you can place them on seagrass but then they pop off so you can get yourself a microscopic air bubble for like half a second but it's that's not really uh a thing that is going to be useful to you anyway slightly broken there with the torches so uh, rails can now also be placed underwater which is really really interesting because now you can have like functional rail systems and rail lines and things like that which is really cool you can also have like some basic uh, logic circuits circuits underwater using comparators and repeaters um, although if, without the use of redstone torches or dust uh, your options are going to be fairly limited but you can still do a little bit honestly redstone underwater isn't too interesting to me it's there's not really going to be any point to it because exposed redstone is terrible looking, so you might as well just cover it over anyway. <laughs> Looks much better. <laughs> so just because you can actually have water inside of these blocks doesn't mean that water flows into these blocks. As you can see, there's still air pockets around signs, fence posts, and gates, and all these things around here, and it doesn't actually flow through them. The only time it's going to flow through these items is if you place them inside of a water source like that, or if you place the water source inside of it. So, pretty simple. There's not too much to really grasp there, but uh, that's about as complicated as it gets. <laughs> but something that has been added is the ability to actually move water sources. That is right, we can move water sources. Just by putting a water source inside of a slab or something like that, you can actually push and pull it in all the directions, which is as fun as it sounds. <laughs> I'm really questioning if this works with lava as well. I'm thinking it won't. Yeah, they haven't added these same features for lava, which... So possibly the best thing in this update and the final thing to cover in this video is the trident and it's current, currently not obtainable in survival. And that is because it, drowns have not been added to bedrock in this update. They will be coming in part two. So... Uh, basically, you can throw these things. They are basically like a Mending Infinity Bow if you have loyalty on them. And there is two different types of tridents that you can have. You can have yourself a Riptide Trident, or you can have yourself a Loyalty and or Channeling Trident. So, Riptide is pretty awesome. If you are underwater, you can actually use this to travel very, very fast and even travel out of the water, which is amazing. This makes for some... Uh, some amazing amazing and awesome combat this is possibly the coolest thing that you can do <laughs> so if you have loyalty on your trident this one you can throw long range and it will come back to you uh similar to an infinity bow so because i have channeling on my trident when i throw this at the horse it's going to get struck by lightning and that goes for anything that you hit with a trident during a thunder but it has to be during a thunderstorm Otherwise, it is not going to summon lightning. So like that bunny over there, totally missed it. But yeah, you get the point. <laughs> so if you have Riptide on your trident, however, you can actually fly through the air while it is raining, which is amazing. And uh, something I just want to point out real quick is that thunderstorms have been amped up like a thousand times over. There's so much thunder and lightning right now. It's actually crazy. But this is a really, really awesome enchantment. And you can get super high super quickly. We're already at Y400. It just keeps going nonstop. And the animation is cool as well. Basically the best weapon in the game. And you totally want one. <laughs> Anyway, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I do hope that you did enjoy and are looking forward to part two of Updated Aquatic. Part one is looking pretty half decent, and the full release for Java Edition is going to be even better. There's so many more options and world generation options and technical commands and just other things that you can do over on Java Edition. It is looking very, very fine indeed over there. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching this video. I do hope that you did enjoy. Be sure to leave a like and maybe also subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss the next update video. I'll see you down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.